man. Not only am I pissed off, I'm kind of disgusted in my NBA 2K17. Here's the reason why. Now, everything this game has implemented into the game this year has been for money. You know, um, for example, um, we'll just get to the main reason why. Now, Blacktop going down is not their fault. We won't go over that. That's, it happens. Not every game's perfect, but. You know, yeah, think of it, guys. Events, you know, get money. Road to the Championship, you can buy game nights. You need to buy game nights, basically, unless you're playing every game night. And I know nobody in the world is playing every game night unless they're botting. So, and if you are, then you just have no life. So, um, that's just taking this game way too serious. So, you know, I read this game. I did it pretty much have been dedicating my channel to mine B2K17 over 2K. Just because, you know, the game, you know, needs more YouTubers and needs help. And I figured I could step up. And I think I have, mostly. And... To see them put another Road to the Championship in, and yet alone, I mean, if you're putting a Road to the Championship in, that's, like, easy, and you don't need to spend money, and then, you know, if there's an actual event card, then I am going to be glad, because I don't have to spend a whole week, and then on these two days, Thursday, Friday, playing Marvel Clash. I won't complain, because I have an all-around deck, I'm built for Road to the Championship, but, you know, just to put a Road to the Championship in with a Tony Parker 2007 event card, is just... A little bit absurd, you know. We're we're in October. We're in the you know the middle of October, and we haven't even had a, an event yet. These aren't events, guys. These are just ways, you know, for them to keep the game going, so no one complains, and then they make more money. And you know, I'm not. I don't work for Cat Daddy. I don't sit behind the office and see what they're doing. But just from what I'm seeing, this game is just doing whatever it can to make more money, and it's ridiculous because this game does not deserve the money. Now, I understand if you like basketball and you like this game and you spend a lot of money. It's there's no problem with that. It's just there's people that are dumping a fifty, a hundred, hundred fifty bucks into this game for nothing, and they're not getting anything in return. You, there will be no loyalty next year. You know, hope, hopefully there is. I don't think there will be, but in my opinion, but. Um, look how hard people grinded last year in 16, and what did they get? You know, they got a free pro that everybody got for returning. They got the same loyalty reward as everybody else that even stepped foot in 16, whether they played a game or 30,000 or 50,000 or 60,000 games. They all got the same loyalty reward. Now, this, really guys, this game needs to have a convention in the summer, and they need to invite people that actually play the game and listen to the community. They don't need to invite the biggest names out there, Young Gary Oak, Two Bros Gaming, Great YouTubers, but come on, you know, those are just guys that are big names, you know, um, which actually, that was pretty cool how they actually got to go up, and they did help us with Blacktop, but, like, really, like, come on, guys, like, let the community as a whole get feed and run a poll, you know, like, what should next event be, you know, give us four options, just don't drop a freaking event with Tony Parker, not even an event card, as the 2017, 2007 championship when Tim Duncan was on that roster, you know, like, come on, give us a Tim Duncan event card, you know, let's go, guys, I'm hyped for this game, you know, I'm hyped to make videos, I'm hyped to grind for you guys, and this is what we're getting in return, a 2007 Tony Parker, not even an event card, Road to the Championship, it's just a little ridiculous, and they really need to start working on this game, but far, um, furthermore, let's um, open these 120 picks, so I just won this Black Death game, it came down to the wire, I actually, um, I was like doing stuff while I was playing, I started it early and then I was doing stuff and I still won the game, so that's why it was close, but yeah, I don't know, you just look look how close the two, you know, 2K17 community is and how well everybody knows each other, and then mind me 2K17, like I don't know any of you, like I hardly know any people in the community, like, you know, besides the people that comment in my videos and like my videos, you know, every once in a while, I don't know anybody, like, there's... Literally, like, there's no other YouTubers in this game that I know or like. Like, Will Upton, you know, um, he's probably, he's a good, you know, he's overall, I think he's a good YouTuber, but just, I'm, um, like, comparing him to, like, the best YouTuber, which he probably is, he's probably the best Miami YouTuber right now, um, that is diminishing, you know, he has stuff to do, he's in college, that's not gonna hold, guys, especially if this game gets better, there's no way nobody's stopping me from being the best YouTuber, besides probably, like, Tony Miranda Jr., because that guy, you know, deserves more subs, he puts in work, more work than me in this game, and yeah, I think he puts out better quality, so, um, no need, you know, to go against him, but I'm talking about, like, I'm just being the best that I can be, rather than trying to beat people, but, um, I'm just saying, like, you know, my goal is to be the best, you know, that I can be, like I just said, so, that means that I have to pass everybody, and like, it's not, oh, Ronnie Code, that's nice. So it's not like I go into this game and I just grind just to be the best YouTuber, like, you know, I just try to play my own time and make good videos, like, I try not to post videos that mean nothing to you guys, I try to help people, so. Ultra Rares, you know, I, they'll still sell, but not for that much, like, maybe at like 11k, so let's just do this. Okay, um, yeah, I'm, I'm like, we're kind of like frustrated. I'm mad. I'm literally mad that there's another road to the championship without an event card. It just like it seems that it's gotten to the point, guys, where some of the stuff that they do in this game should not even be allowed. It is just 
ridiculous. Like, how hard is it to put an event card? Like, you, you don't, guys don't understand. Like, they're trying to make it so we have to spend money to get the best cards. Now, the only way you're getting an MVP card without spending money is winning a legendary season. And not only will you have to win a legendary season, but you'll be matched in a season with guys that are dumping 100 and 150 bucks into a game. You know, there's people in my seed. There's, I'm actually the second seed. And, you know, how much money have I spent on this game? Like, 10, 10 bucks, 15, no, I think 10. I've spent, like, 10 bucks on this game. And doing pretty well, you know. I'm... Probably a um, top 100 player in this game. Uh, nah, not even. We'll, we'll see when Rival Scotch comes. I can't talk. I got you know. I can't talk how good I am until I show it on you know the game. Until I have an event card. I did not get the event. Carl of the Talents. I did get the second one, but I just couldn't do plus fours. I'll be ready this time, guys. This Road to the Championship. I am beating the Road to the Championship. I will guarantee it right now that I am beating the Road to the Championship. So unless I'm busy this weekend, um. I'll, I can't really guarantee it. I, mean, I might be busy. You know, I'm trying. I actually had been um, helping my friend out with YouTube. We've been making a lot of clips, so I definitely just overtrain, but it doesn't even matter. 15. Not like I have nothing else to do with those cards anyway, so. Um, let's claim these picks now. After these picks, I'll show you guys the rest of the Road to the Championship for those of you that haven't seen it. Um, the credit giveaway, I actually did give the guy, um, and he actually wanted 50,000 credits instead of a $10 iTunes gift card, so I figured why not? And I just gave him 50,000 credits, and then he joined my team in return, so that's cool. Um, 1,000 subs, hopefully we can get that middle of November, I guess. I'll give away a 20 iTunes gift card. <laughs> this time I'll actually give away a card, though, because it like I couldn't... The thing with me is I have I use like a credit card to um, buy um, stuff. Like If I'm going to purchase something in the game, it's going to be on a credit card, so that's why it takes me a little bit to get to the store, because it's not like I go there like every day, you know. I, live, I don't live near a store, I live in a really small town, so I gotta travel town just to get like an iTunes gift card, so that's why it took so long, but I'll be prepared this time, once I get to like 950, I'll, I'll go out or something, I'll plan a time to go, so, I don't know why, but I'm feeling like I'm getting a cold, um, I don't know, it's weird, but uh, six picks remaining, legendary reset, I haven't... My last one was Blake Griffin, it's been a while, so I haven't been playing that much because I'm, I've been waiting for Rob Scottish and it's not even here. Here's the Road to the Championship, like guys, the, the best card in this is Tony Parker. I mean, yes, don't get me wrong, Tony Parker is a Hall of Famer, but I really don't want to grind my whole weekend and, and you know, Thursday, Friday to for a Tony Parker that isn't even an event card. Like, this guy, you know... Uh, I don't. I don't know. If they, I don't even know if he's auctionable. So I'm gonna have to use a, a star contract, which is impossible to get with my team. Not. Not. Not even. I'll probably be the only one on my team that beats World the Championship. So. Uh yeah. Elite 15. I'm, I think they're called Tony Miranda Jr. I actually really wanted to join that team, but I don't want to bail on my team just yet. I think we're getting better, and I can't. I'm not just gonna bail. I really think, do think we're getting better. So thanks for watching, guys. A little rant. Nothing new. Just really, I have high expectations for this game, and if I'm going to put out videos, I want to at least be playing a game that we all enjoy. And I know you guys probably feel the same. So leave a like, subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace, Miami Games. I'm signing out, guys.